Namaste everyone and welcome to Wellness Mantra. Today's episode is going to be special for all those who have handled or had to handle anxiety. Anxiety is no easy feat. We know that it's very hard to handle anxiety and we just don't know what exactly happens to us or our body when we are confronted with a panic attack or anxiety. Here, let's learn a few tips on how we can ease these kind of panic attacks and how you can feel rested and relaxed as you deal with anxiety. This may not be the final answer for anxiety, but it sure can bring yourself to relax a little bit and conquer your anxiety to a large extent. I hope you enjoy today's session. As you begin, let's start with Namaskara Mudra. Take a deep breath in, inhale and breathe out. I want you to focus on your breathing. Breathe in through your nose. And out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. The one thing that we have to always focus on as you have an attack of panic or anxiety is how you're breathing and you remember how I taught you about how breathing with your abdomen is very relaxing and that is the natural way of breathing let's try and do that a little bit so for those who are novice to this practice please place your palms on your abdomen for those who are confident doing it you may place your palms open on your lap and let's begin Breathing in, I want you to try and stretch out your abdominal muscles. Breathing out and pulling them in. When you breathe in, I want you to push your abdominal muscles out and expand your tummy like you're blowing into a balloon. Breathe out and pull it all in. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Now from abdominal muscles, let's move into clavicular breathing or shoulder breathing. We're going to breathe in and we'll take our shoulder muscles or shoulders all the way up, trying to reach out to your ears. All right, now make sure that you roll your shoulder backwards a bit before you do this. I don't want you to pull your shoulder in and do this. So roll your shoulders backwards, sit up straight. You don't necessarily have to sit on the floor. You can sit on a chair if you feel comfortable that way. All right. Now we begin breathing in and lifting our shoulders upwards. Make sure there's a pause between breathing in and breathing out. See if you can hold it for a few seconds. And please make sure that you shouldn't get to a range where you become uncomfortable. Rather, feel comfortable in what you're doing. All right, let's begin. Breathing in. And breathe out. Let's breathe in and we'll take our shoulders all the way up as if you're going to reach out to your ears. Feel the pinch behind your neck and slowly breathe out and relax your shoulders. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, pull your shoulders up. 
Hold there for a few seconds if you can. Feel the pinch, feel the pain build up, feel the pressure build up behind your neck. And as you breathe out, feel it all relax and go melt. Enjoyed? All right. Now, uh, let's try a few poses that will actually help with uh, dealing with anxiety. These are not primarily just poses, they are a mix of postures plus breathing or rather a synchronized breathing and body movement. To do this, please sit down in Dandasana or staff posture, relax your legs a bit, stretch them out if you feel good. Now for those of you who find it very difficult to sit down on the floor, please feel free to prop up a cushion underneath your bum so that you feel a little more easier doing this posture. And now, slowly bend your leg. In and now the other leg and sit down in Vajrasana. Like if you're finding it again difficult to sit in Vajrasana, please feel free to roll in a towel and place it under your ankles to just make it a little more easier. Now sit back straight and tall, taking your hands behind your back, making a fist of your right palm and holding your wrist of the right hand with the hand with your left side. Now try and feel the pulse of your right wrist with the fingertips of your left hand. Take time to move your fingers until you have felt the pulse at the tip of your left hand fingers. Once you feel the, finger, the pulse on your left fingertips, enjoy the synchronized pattern of the pulse. See how beautiful and rhythmic your body is. Appreciate the rhythm within your body. Be grateful for the body that you own. Take a deep breath in, stretch up. Breathe out and start lowering your abdomen into the ground, followed by your chest. Drop down your shoulders and drop down your head. Gently place your forehead on the ground. At this point you'll feel a lot of pressure build up on your face. Enjoy that pressure. Understand there's a lot of blood flow into your head and face region. Breathe in and slowly start lifting your head up. Followed by pulling back your shoulders, your chest and abdomen. Always remember to synchronize your breath with the movement of your body. Now as you breathe out, I want you to start going down with your abdomen, followed by pulling down your chest, rolling down your shoulders and lowering your chin until your forehead is on the ground. Breathe in and start lifting your head. Pull up your shoulders, chest and abdominal muscles until you're sitting up straight. Now breathe in and go back. Breathe out and go down. Breathe in and take your head up, pulling up your shoulders, lifting your chest and finally your abdomen off the ground. Enjoy that breathing and now from Shashankasana breathing, we're going to do a little bit of other practices that will help calm the disturbed mind. Now this one involves breathing in a particular pattern. This is a pranayama called the Brahmari Pranayama. The Brahmari is the sound of a female bee. And in this pranayama, we make a peculiar noise, trying to bring in the vibrations into our head region as we create the sound. Uh, the reverberation of the sound will actually circulate or rather 
vibrate and resonate along the entire head region, creating a very relaxing and soothing effect in our minds. Uh, let's get ready to do the primary pranayama. Please sit down in any comfortable meditative posture. You needn't sit on a chair. You didn't needn't sit on the floor. You can sit on a chair if you'd like to. And please make sure you're absolutely comfortable. Keep your spine straight and nice and tall. And let's do this together, the primary pranayama. Now, for most pranayamas, Mm, the main sounds that we do if we practice sound-based practice is a, o, n, n. Here, we're going to pronounce a sound which is different from m. Mm. We're going to do n, like you say sing, or you can say king, ring. So, if you notice, it's not the tip of your tongue, but the middle portion of your tongue that goes against your upper palate or your heart palate in the mouth and creating this sound will actually mean you leave your lip slightly apart and not completely close like the sound mm. here you need to leave your lips slightly close open so that you can create the mm sound let's do this together all right eyes closed body straight and erect you can place your palms on your lap or in uh, in your one hand over the other in the middle and let's begin take a deep breath in mm. enjoy the reverberation of the sound mm. take a deep breath in Understand that your breath can be as long as what you would like it to be. Your breathing out too should be as long as how you are comfortable holding your breath. There is no right number or right time frame to actually practice these. It all depends on how you are comfortable doing it individually. And the longer that you are able to sustain your breath, the better it is for you and the more effective it becomes with each practice. Now, if you notice, as you chant the sound, mm, the vibration around your head region actually penetrates into the entire skull through into your brains and you feel it resonate in each of your cells. Enhancing and calming down the mind, letting it relax. Now to understand that effect of pranayama, try placing your hands on your head and do the same sound again. We'll do it three times now. Mm. Enjoy the reverberation of the sound mm, that you feel inside your body. Now try and create the sound in your mind without actually saying it out loud. So the guidance from myself will only be to take a deep breath in and to chant the mm sound within your body, feeling the same resonance as you did when you made that sound audible. You now make the sound completely inaudible, but it is there within your body. Take a deep breath in. 
please do the inaudible sound try and see if you can see the same vibrations feel the same vibrations that you felt when you had your eyes open or your sound heard take a deep breath in and create the inaudible sound within your body let's do one more round taking a deep breath in Gently adopt Namaskara Mudra, place it in front of your heart region. Just observe in your mind all the blessings that have come your way. Be grateful for each and every blessing. And in your heart, please say it out loud within your heart that I am grateful for this blessing. I am grateful for this body. I am grateful for my being. Understand that there is a divine light that shines within you and let that light guide you in the path of wellness. Gently rub your palms and can you feel a warmth between your palms? Slowly put that on your face and let it seep into your face. Gently take your hands along your forehead into your hairline, pulling it from behind the nape of your neck, drawing it out and opening it like a book. With a beautiful smile on your lips, gently flicker your eyelids and slowly look into your beautiful palms. Understand the true potential and true nature of yourself. I hope you enjoyed that session. This was a practice to help handle anxiety. Hope you had a good one. Take care until we meet again. This is Shama saying goodbye.